Hey, welcome. I'll do I the the hello. I, was, I realized like, no, here. no, I was like, none of us <laughs> no, said who was going to do it. <laughs> I, I, I take control. I want to save Yang Yang's voice too. So. Thank you. Welcome to everybody. Oh, I see Erin arriving at the edge of her camera. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> She's just peeking in. <laughs> it's a doorway. You're all table. in trouble. I heard everything. Oh, no. <laughs> That's right. Reinstall your intro. <laughs> <laughs> I Too bad we. And Bob, oh. Bob, um... Too bad we weren't brilliantly strategizing for today's encounter. I know, yeah, right? Exactly. That would have been smart. We're only going up against an elder brain dragon, you know. It's fine. It's fine. No biggie. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you guys will do great. Is there one in the new Baldur's Gate? An elder brain dragon? Mm-hmm. No, that would. Uh, I mean, that'd be pretty. I I will say this. There was a moment in that game that I went, I feel like we could have squeezed one of those in there. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, maybe, maybe that supplement was uh, was written after they had already planned out all the stuff. So on the next one. <laughs> uh, so I, I, I actually I have a question to, to, to pose to the group. Uh, so I, I in my home game right now, uh, I don't know how my DM is doing this, but he is m somehow putting me up against every D and D monster I've ever wanted to fought and never got to. Nice. Like, uh -huh. uh, like in in one session we were fighting. Like it, the first one, he he reskinned it. Like it was this giant, uh, um, like orchid praying mantis thing, right? But it kept like uh, some some people if they looked at it got hypnotized. It was it was actually an Umber Hulk, and I've never gotten to fight an Umber Hulk before, mm. so I was so excited. And then last night he puts a bullet in there. I'm like, I've never got to fight a bullet. This is so cool. <laughs> nice. So my question is, are are there any D and D monsters like 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 kind of like the 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 classic Ooh. ones that you've never gotten to fight in a game that you've wanted to? That's a an cool. interesting question. Yeah, I don't know how classic it is, but I've always wanted to fight. Uh, I think I saw it in second edition. It was a house that was a mimic. Oh my <laughs> god, that's terrifying. That's genuinely terrifying. Yeah, like the entire house was the mimic, and um, you you just supposedly you know you you set up the encounter by like a party sees just like an idyllic little cottage in the woods or something, <laughs> and you know you're supposed to make them come up there and investigate it. Uh, and they're like, well, I mean, uh, there's nobody home, you know, there's no clothes, there's no food out there, like what? But it's like peaceful and otherwise not broken in. And then as soon as people enter, like it's just everything shuts down, windows shut, door oh. shut, and it starts just digesting them. <laughs> oh, God, no. <laughs> I don't, I don't think I've ever, like, I've um, played with a mimic character or the the one shot the holiday one shot the holiday mimic <laughs> oh, the holiday I don't think mimic. I've ever <laughs> that was so good <laughs> i don't think i've ever fought like a mimic because i i did like sort of not exactly fight but like be in a fight with a terrasque which was i think the oh because um i don't know if i've told this story before but back in um grad school i was at a D, &D game at a comic book store and they had a store cat and apparently the scale to their minis of this cat is about like the cat being a terrasse. And so at one point the cat jumped up <laughs> on the battle mat and they're like, oh no, the terrasse. <laughs> so I always sort of was curious, like, what is this terrasse and what would it be to like to fight it? It's <laughs> well, like tiny little it. minis at this huge cat. <laughs> you guys fought it sort of. Sort of. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. I mean, Stong got swallowed by <laughs> You wailed on it some and got away, which is, I feel like, it knows my flavor Turner. now. Jurassic <laughs> strategy, yeah. <laughs> What's the one that's like the? I know the thing, so I I don't think I could ever actually experience it. But the the like, the the Hydra, the not a Hydra. Oh, the false it? Hydra. The, false the... Hydra. Oh God. Nice. Um. That would, I would, I think I would have, had that been presented to me, I would enjoy it so much. Uh, uh, content warning for anyone out there Googling an image of this thing, it is gnarly. 
So what, Googling. what makes it like <laughs> yeah, tell not us about it. a Hydra yet like, enough of a Hydra to be called that? It's one of those things where it's like, if oh. I tell you about it, it would ruin an encounter with it. Mm. Oh, that is the problem. That is right? like, it's the massive it. problem with it. Um, <laughs> it's, oh God. It yeah. has, it's, it's like, I have to admit, I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent sure why it's called a hydra, except for it does, like it does have a lot of heads. Look, um, <laughs> but it isn't kind of related to that. Yeah, I'm also. I don't know that I'd say I want to, but I've never fought a beholder that I can remember. Really, and that feels Ooh. like an iconic thing I've Wait missed out on. Have I fought a beholder? Maybe that's next week. Oh, well, maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I feel like the Beholder is a fun fight, except it's one of those where it's so hard not to use your meta knowledge of like not looking at it or you know blocking mm -hmm. its line of sight, because it seems so apparent. You know, there's so many eyeballs, and the rays come I out mean, of its eyeballs. To to be fair, like I feel like, you know, I had I threw a party against a Beholder once. They learned very quickly what that center eye did on their own, mm. um, <laughs> and so they they it didn't take them very long to figure out a strategy around that. Well, which of the older D and D movie? Because we watched the like older ones. Oh God! Um, and w which was the one where you they like threw a rock, and the beholder and the guards just like, that that, went that over was there? the that was the two thousand one. <laughs> My favorite okay. thing about that is that when it goes through a hallway, its eye socks just kind of pull in, <laughs> and it yeah. squeezes through the little doorway. I'm like, why does it do that? <laughs> like, I want to bang its eyes on the wall. I mean, come on, man. Like my my parents' cat, she's very friendly, and so her tail's often up, which mm. is a sort of like hello kind of thing. And so you'll see her going along, and then she gets to like she wants to go under a chair, and then she puts her tail down. She goes under the chair, and the tail comes right back up. <laughs> I wonder if the beholders use their eye stalks like cats use their whiskers, <laughs> like to just sort of test space. Can I get through this? I mean, maybe. <laughs> no, maybe. I yeah. love the idea of like a like the picture of a beholder in a box. Like it just puts its tentacles in the box, and then it realizes it's the size of the box. It gets really excited, shoves itself in the box, <laughs> and then just a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what What about you, Steve? Is there a monster you've always wanted to fight? You know, it's funny. There was for a long time. I wanted to fight the purple worm, <clears throat> oh, and then nice. in my home group. Uh, the per a bunch of purple worms happened. So, um, I, and I distinctly remember something else. I think uh, that Eric brought on us, and I thought, and I, and I think I said on on the air, I'd never gotten to fight one of these. I've never, and I've always wanted to. I can't remember what it was. Though. Anybody remember? Uh, no, but I'm just going to ask you: Is it a slod? No, I don't know what that is. That's that thing when we went to Limbo, and out. Uh, it it laid a it's put a tadpole in Kalith. She was gonna turn into a into a slot. <laughs> no, no. Okay, no, I remember. It wasn't those good. No, uh, <clears throat> for a while, the most classic ones for me were the ones still are the ones on the cover of the first monster movie. Yeah. <clears throat> oh yes. The troll, the roper, the owlbear. Uh, what else is? Oh, there's a purple worm. I think on the back. Yeah, <clears throat> just kind dragon. of floating there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Yeah, but but I've in the last couple of years got to tick off a couple of those. So uh... <laughs> I don't know that I've ever fought an owlbear either. Mm. It's been a long time since I have, but yeah. I don't know if I want to fight an owlbear because I, I mean, I once yeah. it comes down to that, I'm sure that like you know my character would not want to be killed, but sort of abstractly, I'm like, oh no. So, I, so I did it in Idol Champions Presents. Yeah. Which, like, these bow bears attacked us, or they sort of just showed up aggressive, and so we fought them. And then there was, like, a break, and one of the players was like, <coughs> should we have done that? I don't think we should have done that. <laughs> and so they, like, undid two of these owlbear deaths. They brought cool. them back, and then, and and I think B-Day was like, oh, yeah, we were just defending our cubs. and And the only thing was, Havilar had killed one, and I did not have any ability to bring it back. So I'm just standing there over the corpse of this Albar where everybody else is like being one with nature, and I'm just like, <laughs> I... 
I'm an owlbear murderer now, thanks. <laughs> you look at the little baby owlbears, you're like, well, I just killed your parents. <laughs> Uh, I, I Listen, felt... I'm an orphan, and I was fine. So <laughs> this is character. basically their hero origin story, I think. Yeah, it, little did you know you were outside of an owlbear theater. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I, I looked at I looked at the original <laughs> cover for the Monster Manual: owlbear, troll, roper, centaur, unicorn, and a red dragon who has black uh, wings for some reason. But you know, whatever. <laughs> I think I think on the back is a purple worm on the back I... cover. Oh yes, on the back there is a purple worm, a, a manticore, a griffin, and some kind of big centipede. <laughs> oh, is that a carrion crawler? Maybe it might crawler? be a carrion crawler. crawler. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, those the one. Are I fought one of those. Uh, I <clears throat> hard pass. So hard pass. fourth edition <laughs> absolutely has the reputation of the combat is intricate and it can take forever. Yeah. The only time I truly remember this was when we had to fight a couple of carrion crawlers. Oh. And uh, honestly, we were not high enough level for this. It was brutal. We were getting so pissed off. At one point, our we had a, our, I think he was a, he might have been a drow blade singer. Thalar just went, he's like, I'm just going after this one by myself. I will die in the process. <laughs> and the thing was, this was a game we were playing at work. And my boss was DMing. So we were like, <laughs> sitting so pissed. We're like, Sarah, why did you do this to us? Because it was taking weeks to get through this fight. Whoa. Because it was just like a little too hard and uh a little again, a little too intricate. Uh and yeah, that that is the one time where I was like, Yeah, this is too much. This combat is too much. And I have hated <laughs> carrying crawlers ever since. <laughs> yeah. Bad. When you decide to sacrifice yourself so that you don't have to do the combat anymore, there's a problem. With combat. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, like, two two groups of monsters um, that I've never really fought. Uh, well, I guess two, yeah. So one is giants. I've never fought any giant. Any mm. type of giant. Oh, my gosh, never? Never, no. Hmm. So I've like snuck past them and like we've sort of like raided, you know, like a giant's home or something, but never, never fought one. Um, and then also never fought a Kraken. Like I've always mm. wanted to fight a Kraken. I've used them in my campaigns. Where's so, the Kraken? Yeah, there you go, Aaron. <laughs> Fun fact, in the real world, Lork uh, has actually, in, in the canon world, Lork was destroyed by giants in Storm King's Thunder. Mm. So maybe, I don't know. Okay. Interesting. Maybe. What can happen? Oh boy. You're, you're, you're... You get there, Stong's married to a giant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, She's I guess like, you kind of fought a giant. Now. <laughs> <laughs> it's date night. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound like, yeah, it still doesn't sound like fighting giants or be role playing with giants. Which I'm all for. I'm all for it. I love it. I like their flavor a lot. I'd be like Hagrid and his brother, <clears throat> if you remember. Uh, yeah. No, I don't remember it. Sorry, I was reading one of the viewer comments. Uh -huh. um, so basically, yeah, they're like, you're cracking, lacking. And yes, I'm lacking, cracking. <laughs> you're lacking, cracking. <laughs> oh, jeez. Good one. That's a good one. I normally just like puns. Aaron's story made me uh we just think of like, oh man, what's the longest encounter that I've had? And I actually think the longest encounter I've been a part of was as a player, we had a boss fight that was five hours long. Whoa. Oh my god. Yeah. Like, granted, it was against literally Rasputin, but still, I feel like the dude should have had a few less hit points, if I'm being <laughs> honest. <laughs> were you were you Russian nobility or Russian peasantry? <clears throat> Uh, no, it's a long, weird story. Pathfinder is involved. Um, <laughs> so it's, yeah. But, uh, yeah, no, that, that combat, that combat went on for a very long time. I used a wish spell during that, uh, combat and it was not even the highlight. Wow. wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wild. Yep. Yep. Yeah, so I would also love to play. So I didn't answer Slotty or the Slod uh, because Eric technically had us fight one, 
but I have never. I would love to play in a campaign where like the Slotty are uh, attacking and they're actually like coming out and invading and taking over people's bodies and like uh, oh, laying geez. their eggs and all that. They're just like such a cool race of monsters. Hmm? How how, how do like you spell that? S L A A D I. I don't think I'm thinking of the right thing. Oh no! It I may am. have I come just... up in our Champions of Lore episode. All the things that are frog people. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There is more yes. than one thing that is frog people. Oh! Oh yeah! Oh, oh yeah! Oh! You want to hear all the frog people? <laughs> okay. I, mean, I don't and mean to, the list, and... but like the ballpark figure. Now I'm curious. And There's like Brum at Brum least five, I think. Something like that. See, I would have they... expected it to be crabs. Of <laughs> I don't know that there are there are forgotten realms crab people. There's the lobster people, oh, but I don't need think to be crab people. <laughs> oh my god, there needs to be a PC race of crab people. How is that not a thing? I mean, because uh, like the animals become more called? and more crab-like with time. Exactly, exactly. Proven. There needs to be just like uh, like a dozen different subtypes of crab people. There's just a, just a crustacean race, and it's just you know which one which one are you gonna be? You gonna be the lobster? Oh my god! Yeah. I could be the bodybuilder lobster from SpongeBob. <laughs> oh my god! I want this. <laughs> See, I, Did you I find would, the lobster race? I would be the 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 crab from the car commercials. It's like peach. I, peach. I don't know that one. <laughs> Rihanna, you're like the one other person I've ever met that remembers that commercial. I used to just, I, that's how I used to like joke, like joke around with my wife when we started dating because I just go to go, hey, Pinch. She's like, I swear to God, I will hit you. Uh, <laughs> man, I'm going to have to go find a YouTube of this commercial for the chat. Then. Yeah, I'm not Everyone sure I know there. what you're talking about. That's so mm. funny. <laughs> uh, chat says the Aldani. The Urian. Urian? Or the oh the Aldani is the other name for them yeah thank you chat they're the Aldani lobster folk oh yeah look at this thing lobster folk yeah yeah so yeah you could be that guy oh there's a there's oh where did they where are they in fifth edition oh they're uh I remember this image now they're in uh, Tomb of Annihilation they're on Cholt. oh. Mm. Yeah, I I don't know how I feel about this uh, lobster person's like very human lower half of a face. Okay, if, uh, I will say this: if you click back in third edition, they were clearly crab people, not lobster people. Oh yeah, that's a crab. That's a yeah. Crab. Second edition, the Aldani are absolutely lobster people too. Whoa! First edition, they're like they look like if a person in a hook horror had a baby. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, no. I gotta look this up. Holy I don't cow. like that sentence <laughs> <Why>? at all. <laughs> I'm trying to find the realms wiki. Oh, I just put the link in the in oh, you the did? chat. You the best. The Aldani, that's like the human like one with the human legs, is so wonderfully <laughs> awkward. I would I would absolutely play this. And it would have to be like a rogue or something really. The, the first edition artwork looks like it's uh, taken from like a conspiracy theorist magazine yes! in the 1960s. <laughs> and then they came out of their craft. Uh <laughs> 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 Incredible. Uh, second, second edition looks like uh, a kaiju. Like that oh, looks like. Excuse me. That looks like concept art for Pacific Rim. I can see that. Yeah, man. <clears throat> now that you said that, I feel like like ancient alien. Um, you know how ancient alien conventions they use like art from sci fi magazines and stuff yeah, to yeah. Like, justify. Yeah, so, like they must take some stuff from D and D. They oh, must, they have right? To. They yeah. have to. No, 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 no. None of those magazines were were what we would call a reputable uh, publisher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Specifically, it says fiction on the cover. Fiction. <laughs> Where, where'd you get this artwork? I ripped that out of my kid's book. You bought it at some game store. I don't know. <laughs> we got other people in the chat to remember Peach. Yeah, yay. Oh, nice. Funny commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Lives in my head rent free. <laughs> Every so often I'm like, oh, back in the day, people would remember like 
Bible stories or creation myths that I'm remembering. <laughs> Carca <Gargamel>. Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. I have talked about uh, the uh, original Old Spice commercial with Isaiah Mustafa the way some people talk about scripture. So, (laughs) 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 oh, good lord! Actually, that that is one video that um, it not the commercial itself, but occasionally I will go on YouTube and watch the. They they shot how they did that commercial from the oh. side because they oh, did yeah, it all in one really shot and it's fascinating. Oh, I should find that. It's so fascinating to watch that happen. It was even more wild to learn that the uh, Tim and Eric did that from the Tim and Eric show. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I was just like, huh. I don't normally like their stuff other than it's free real estate, so that's impressive. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh boy. Did we someone ever... said I... what's up oh you go ahead uh, someone in the chat said i literally just showed that video again this afternoon i don't know if that was the 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 i pinch video or not but that's still funny <laughs> <laughs> yeah small world mm-hmm. there's something like the psychic consensus that's like drawing up that video again from the abyss <laughs> of our minds everyone's like you know what i need uh right now uh, a pinching crab that's what i need <laughs> yeah Yes, that, that'll sell me a vehicle that's way too expensive. <laughs> I I will say, not watching, because, like, I, I don't really watch, I don't have cable anymore, and I pay for the ones that, like, don't have ads for streaming services and stuff. Seeing a commercial again after not seeing them for so long was super weird. Like, mm. I, I just let me take a step back and go, this is just strange. <laughs> oh, man. Same. We 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 just do streaming. Um, yeah. and when my son sees a commercial, he is just transfixed. Like, what is this strange mode of communication? Mom, have you right. seen this? Do you know what? It, like, they just talk about something for thirty seconds, and uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I'm glad. I think it's still weird. Yeah, huh. interesting. Because I, I, I still like I still have cable, but I DVR it. But like, you see commercials as you're like going by yeah. them. And then I watch a lot of um, for YouTube. So I get the like tiny little commercials where you're like, oh, you want to hook me, but I'm going to push skip. I'm going to push that. I push skip. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, the most aggravating generally... thing. Uh, the most aggravating thing is I watch like movies on Amazon Prime sometimes. And like oh, they'll yeah. insert, they insert a commercial like in the beginning of the movie. So you cannot skip it unless you like skip the seconds uh in the in the actual movie but the thing is is if you watch a foreign film it actually displaces the subtitles so your subtitles are no longer matching the time the timestamp what oh no yeah it drove me crazy (laughs) that is infuriating that's illegal i feel like that's illegal i'm gonna be honest (laughs) i'm hoping it's just a glitch not allowed yeah Yeah. no it's just gotta be a glitch because by law they have to have decent captions see so it's illegal <laughs> I, was, I was listening to a podcast um i think it started with netflix um the laws that require tv to have captioning originally netflix was saying like they don't apply to us so we don't have to bother if we don't want mm-hmm. um and the i think american association for the deaf or something like that um similar name anyway yeah um mm-hmm. went after netflix and then was able to sort of take that Good. out with the other streamers Good. Um, which is yeah. like a plus thank you because <laughs> yeah. it's not just deaf people it helps no yeah maybe yeah, i'll link I, amazon we we uh we have a uh, um subtitles turned on on most of the tvs in this house because you know sometimes it's like uh well your audio mixing was actually really bad and i don't know when you're gonna have action to like blow out my speakers so i'm just gonna lower it for that and then just yep. read everything else yeah <laughs> Yep. I'm right there with you. <laughs> like, I don't know why, but like dialogue, the volume is like 20% and the music's at like 120%. Well, like w- my wife and I heard a thing a while ago that it's because that is mi- like for films, those are mixed for theaters. Uh, because like, you know, the, the way that they have the surround sound set up and whatnot, it displaces it better. And so when it's coming from your TV, it's off. 
Hmm. But, but that's given my wife a new insult because we were watching a movie the other day and it had that problem. And she's like, this wasn't even theaters for very long. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Yep. So uh, stay right there. We'll be back in about five minutes with episode number 12. We'll we fight fighting. a nasty dragon. Yes, a trash dragon. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs>